Welcome back uh, to a lecture series on digital image processing. So, in this lecture, now we are going to discuss about the generation of slope and aspect map or creation of slope map or creation of aspect map in uh, the NB digital image processing software, namely NB. So, this demonstration will help for uh, for a student or a scholar to work to create slope map to create uh, aspect map from DEM. So, in the last uh, demonstration what we have seen how to create DEM from contour. So, DEM is prepared uh, from the contour map, contour is prepared from shuttle radar topographic mission or uh, the contour map uh, digitized from survey of India topo sheet or contours are generated from the point data, elevation data. From that DM is created. Now DM is ready. What is the application of DG, DM? As I said, it has a lot of applications. As one is, uh, uh, it gives you for uh, hydrological modeling, it gives you for disaster management uh, studies like uh, the landslides uh, and other studies. And uh, this also will gives you for various other allied applications. Uh, no, other, other than uh, geological studies also, but uh, with respect to geoscience, both geology and geography, it has number of application on the surface of the elevations. Now, we will see how this uh, uh, slope and aspect is created from digital elevation model through NB software. Now, open the digital elevation uh, image, open image go to the training workspace and select the DM data which we have prepared in the last access and load image. Look at that your image is loaded uh, scroll and zoom a window is there and uh, from this now we are going to prepare the slope map. Slope is the orientation of slope uh, uh, sorry slope is a line a line is a measure of its slope right um, a steepness uh, the slope is being defined uh, as the uh, line, a line at which a measure of the steepness. I mean, from the higher elevation to the lower elevation. Aspect is nothing but the orientation of slope measured clockwise in degrees from 0 to 360 degree. 0 is north, right? 90 is west, east, 180 is south and 360 is west. So, the slope map is the source for the crea creation of uh, uh, creation of uh, aspect map. So, what is slope? Steepness of your terrain from the higher slope to the lower slope. Now, we are going to prepare the slope map by using the topographic toolbox. Open topographic modeling icon in the topographic, we have to select topographic modeling. Now, you will get topo model input DM. Select the DM data and you will get all your band information. Like what is the pixel uh, 30 meter resolution and what is the area it is, datum and other uh, uh, informations and give OK. Now, the topo model parameters includes uh, many things like uh, slope, aspect, shaded relief profile, convexity, plain convexity, longitudinal convexity, cross-sectional convex convexity, minimum curvature, maximum curvature, error and slope in terms of percentage. Number of items, there are 11 in number. You can select any of this, but you will have to keep your kernel size also here for the preparation whether it is going to run with 3 by 3 kernel or it is going to be run with 5 by 5 kernel. So that we have to select and then we, from that uh, we, we can prepare the map. Now select the slope, aspect, shaded relief and so on. Slope in degree, slope in percent both is there. So depends upon your applications you select a different uh, slope uh, classification, slope and aspect is selected in terms of degree. And I am now defining the output file name in the, in the workplace where I have kept all the other files. 
so i am just uh, giving a topo underscore model dot dat so it is always uh, i mean uh, dat format data format and give okay so now it's processing topo model and uh, we have got uh, the bands like slope and aspect display it in the new display and now look at that uh, the um, i mean display load band load all the bands which you will have to do it now look at that the data it gives you display locations and then projection system it used the map the total number of area and the lat long details and the data height so this is how you can move your cursor look at the cursor here it is moving and it is moving so once if you move the bottom you see you have no data you just press here uh, move here it is no data so this is bottom of uh, the image region it normally doesn't have any data that's why it shows that no data and uh, you can close uh, this is the uh, you can clip with your study area and convert this into other format display to you can make make a open new display and uh, load a so aspect map this is the aspect aspect as i said it is the orientation of the slope in terms of uh, in terms of slope uh, right from degree 0 to 360 degree so this will also give lot of applications only the logical idea is the important for us to think how this type of slope map and the aspect map will be helpful for hydrological modeling and disaster management like landslides earthquake volcano and other things so only thing uh, we have to bring our ideas here uh, from the geogenic source point of view and then you see display data the angle is given now you calculate if it is 328 it is almost uh, um, west to the north uh, near west like this you can do lot of applications when you use this map and similarly uh, the slope angle also can be useful for the movement of water understanding the movement of water and uh, slope is uh, the direction of movement and so on so with this uh, the lecture on creating uh, creating what is that uh, creating uh, generating a contour and slope is come to an end and it has a lot of application uh, with this uh, so i i conclude uh, the the lecture on generating contours and slope map thank you very much